My name is Danielle Davis and I read, write, and roller skate in Los Angeles. Welcome to this writer's life where we peek into process. This episode is basically a game that you can play. So it's called the Five Things Story Generator Game. And the idea is that you, or you and someone else, or you and a group, can use this to generate a story of your own. So you're going to choose five things, and those five things will be like the ingredients for the story, and you're going to weave them together. So here are the five things. The first ingredient for your story is something that happened to you. It could be anything. It could be big or small. It could have just happened five minutes ago or it could have happened five years ago. Something that's happened to you. And the cool thing about that is then you automatically have feelings because it's happened to you and so you have feelings about it and you can infuse your story with those. The second thing is an animal, insect, or plant. So you can choose anything. It can be the first one that pops into your head. It can be your favorite animal, whatever you like. The third thing is something in the room with you right now. It could be a shoe, it could be a pencil, it could be a book, it could be a pillow. The fourth thing is a place. It could be any place you want to choose. A school bus, a cafeteria, an apartment building, the beach. And the fifth thing is a hobby that someone you know likes to do. I know someone who likes to cook and bake. I know someone who likes to rock climb. I know someone who likes to sing. Pick any hobby that somebody you know likes to do. So now we have our five things. So I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna choose five things and then weave a story out of them so that you can kind of see how this story generator game works. The first thing, something that happened to me. When I was in the middle of seventh grade, I made a big move. That happened to me. And I also have some feelings around it, so that helps when crafting a story. And I felt sad and lonely and I missed my old home, right? The second thing is a plant, animal, or insect. And I choose a nectarine. It is a fruit, so it's a kind of plant, and I just really like nectarines. The third thing, something in the room with you. And right now, there's a video camera in the room with me, so that's what I'm gonna choose. Number four, a place. I choose an aquarium. And the fifth thing is a hobby someone I know does. So my partner really likes doing magic tricks, so I'm gonna say performing magic as the fifth thing. And now here's just one way to potentially weave this into a story. So let's say I've got a main character and she's in the middle of seventh grade and she's just moved and she's feeling sad and lonely and out of sorts. Her school is going on a field trip to an aquarium and she brings along a nectarine because it's her favorite fruit and kind of a comfort food for her and everybody is gathered around the jellyfish and all the other students are like jellyfish are so cool and for some reason the main character just blurts out I can do something cool I can do a magic trick and make this nectarine disappear and then she wonders why did I do that? But here she is doing it anyway. She sets up her magic trick and the other kids have their phones, so they have video cameras and they're filming this. And she does her thing and she says the magic word, but the nectarine doesn't disappear. And so the trick kind of fails. And so she leaves and everybody's looking at the videos and she's feeling terrible and maybe they're not being very kind about what happened. So she goes off to eat her nectarine as a comfort and then another kid comes over and that kid says, you know what? I think it's cool that you even attempted to do a magic trick and that you like doing magic tricks and I like nectarines. And so they share a nectarine and they become friends. And that's the story. And again, there are so many different ways, right? That you could weave these pieces into a story however you want. But with this story game generator, you have all the ingredients and pieces that you need. I hope that you will now choose five things and weave a story of your own from those. Thank you for spending this time with me here on This Writer's Life. Please subscribe so you can join me for future episodes. Hi, my name is Andy Turan and I'm a writer living in Los Angeles, California. This is my book, Anna of California. It's a Latina modernization of L.M. Montgomery's classic novel, Anne of Green Gables. If there's anything I've learned from my creative process, it's to believe in yourself. I always wanted to write a book when I was younger, but it wasn't something that I ever thought I would actually be able to do. 
When I was younger, I liked writing funny poems. I liked reading books. But when it came to actually writing, I didn't think that I was good or that I had anything interesting to say. What I've learned over the years is that there's no one else like me, just like there's no one else like you. What I have in my life from the way I've grown up to the people I've met, to my family, to the crazy things that have happened, make me uniquely me. Those are really great things to write about or to put into your ideas. You could write about anything that you really, really like. Like for me, I love eating gummy bears. That could be something fun that your character likes to do. Or it could be something that you really, really dislike. Or just something that reminds you of your family, a story, something about your history or your heritage or just the place that you live in. Those are all really interesting, unique things that are unique to you. Along the way, I've learned that having confidence in who you are, even when you feel like you're not doing a great job or you don't know if you're doing the right job, doesn't matter. Because if you put yourself onto the page, people are always gonna be really interested to read what you have to say. Believe in yourself, know that you have a story to tell, and don't look at that blank piece of paper as something really scary. Look at it as an adventure. So I wish you all the best in your writing life. Happy writing.